This is Pastor Matt. Promise in a prayer, and I'm going to open to a random verse. Never done this before in the history of mankind, at least not me. Verse we're opening to. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant, nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. I got a good one. That was a good one. So I opened that right now. Didn't know where we were going to open. And that's a good message for today. Command those who are rich in this present world. And you may say, I'm not rich. Hey, compare yourself to the whole world, not just to your neighbors to the left and the right. There are those living in huts. There are those living in streets. There are those living in jungles. There are those who hardly have anything to eat today. I tell you, if you are on United States of American soil, you are wealthier than almost everybody in the world. You know I just opened this right now and I didn't research it, but research it. I know even the poorest among us are wealthy compared to the poverty around the world. So I want to say the things that you do have, even if you do feel like you're lacking, even if you feel like you're falling behind, on bills and things like that. The things that you do have, don't rely on them. That's the whole point. Whether you have a lot or you have a little, don't be reliant on the monetary system of this world, but put your hope in that which God richly provides, which is His presence, which is His grace. Let today be a day that you don't rely on your own strength, but you rely on God's faithfulness. Say, God, open the doors, and then we need to be faithful to step through them. Lord, help me today not to rely on my own abilities, on the things that I can do for myself, Lord, but help me to rely on you. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant, nor to put their hope in wealth, which is uncertain, but to put their hope in God. And I tell you, if you are in that group that says, ah, I'm not rich, I don't have much, he says, who richly provides everything for your enjoyment. Wow. So whether you have a lot, don't put all of your, your, your eggs into that basket. Maybe you feel like that basket's pretty empty and you don't have much. He said, hey, God's going to provide. He's going to provide richly and he's going to provide even enough for your enjoyment. So continue to walk with him. Put your trust in him. Let's pray together. Thank you, Father, that we don't need to depend on the world system, that we can depend on you our Heavenly Father. And like a loving Father would never let down His children, we know that You will never let us down. Father, we thank You that we have a source outside of this world, and that is You. Father, for those who are wealthy, help them to use their wealth for Your glory and Your kingdom and not to be reliant on it. For those who don't have much today, Father, may they find their provisions in You. Lord, be blessed by we, Your children, today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, for full-length sermons and new content daily, go to vcachurch.com.